Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be unboxing this TP-Link Casa Smart 3 outlet port power strip. It's a Wi-Fi enabled, it works with Alexa and Google Assistant. It also has these two USB ports, they're 5 volts at 2.4 amps. I've uh, used a few of these already at home. They're already connected to my Google Home and also the Casa app. But this is another one that I'll be adding onto the system and I'll show you how to connect it to the network. So I'm just gonna open this up. They're very straightforward to use. So this is how it looks like. A standard power strip. The good thing about these units is that there's a, a button to actually control physically control each one of these units on the power board. It has a total loading of 10 amps at 2400 watts. When you turn this on you'll be able to connect it to your Wi-Fi network and also connect it to your Google Home and I'll be showing you how to do that in this video. Let me connect the power to this power strip. So I'll just plug it in and then I will show you on the app how you can connect it. So here we go, I'm just plugging it in. So you will see the system light go orange and the protector light is on. So each of these plugs, plug one, two and three, they have a button here where you can actually turn it off and turn it back on. So now I'll be connecting it to the mobile app. So I've already installed the Casa app. If you don't have the Casa app, you can download it through the App Store or Google Play. And it's pretty easy to set up. All you need to have is either Android 5 and above or iOS 10 and above. So this is the Casa app. I've already got two power boards, one in each of the kids' rooms. And you can actually just press this button to either turn it on and off. Or you can say things like, OK, Google. Turn Jaden computer power on. So there you go. So this automatically turns on now. So Google Home basically turned it on. So you can press this button to turn it off again. But I'll be adding this power board. So just press this plus button. It says add device use the smart plugs smart plug strip you can see that the model number is kp303 kp303 which is this one here check the power startup strip system like go next open settings so now you have to connect it to this device by the Wi-Fi and here we go it's TP-Link power strip DB84 so now the mobile phone is connected to the power strip so let's go back here say that it's already connected now you need to tell it which network for the power strip to connect to I'll use this one which is my Wi-Fi network I'm already connected. So now you can customize the, the plugs. So you can say what each of these plugs are, are used for. So let me connect this 
smart plug so plug one I will say mobile phone you can select a photo I'll pick just this one here standard side table light for the plug two that one I'll just do those two for now so now it's configured and connected a firmware update is required so it's so just click on update and now the power board just turned off so it's restarting Turn back on now. Update was complete. That's great. Now you see the list populated again. So those are the ones mobile phone, plug three, and side table. So what I can do is I can rename it to have the actual room name at the front. So that they're all together listed together so as you can see if I press uh, plug 3 turn this off that goes off side table was plug 2 plug 2 is off now and mobile phone plug 3 plug 1 is on and off now and on it's off now and turn it back on you can't really control these two USB ports so that's that's, uh, that's okay the other thing you can do is for example for mobile phone you can set a timer so that if you s put this timer and press it to on that means start so after 29, min 29 minutes roughly 30 minutes your smart plug will turn off so for example if you had the fan running for you you'll be able to control it so that after 30 minutes it will turn off automatically I've also set up uh, timers and scheduled it so there's a schedule button I'll show you an example here so just say for Jaden's heater I've set it so that it turns off at specific times just in case he turns it on accidentally it turns it off at these times you can also at the moment it's all off you can set it so that it turns on at certain times as well you can set up a away mode just in case you're on holidays and you don't want to have the devices turn on or off automatically you can set up this away mode the runtime which will tell you how long it's been running for for each of those plugs and that gives you an indication of how long you can probably use these numbers to work out how much power you've consumed depending on the type of device so there you go so that's the um, the Kaza powerboard Wi-Fi strip if this video helped you in any way give it a like and subscribe to the channel